Hello, everyone, and Happy New Year! I really honestly can't believe that it's 2022. I mean, it seems like um, someone must have hit like fast forward on the remote control, doesn't it? Like that all of a sudden we're here. I have to say though, um, sometimes I wish that I could kind of press pause on life, you know, especially when something really awesome is happening, you know, and I want to hold on to it. Like when maybe you're at your best friend's house for a sleepover or Christmas morning or nap time. Pause. Anyway, uh, we may not be able to control time like that, but we do have control over some things in our life. We can choose self-control. Self-control is just that. It's choosing to do what you should do even when you don't want to do. And um, that's what we're going to talk about all month long here at Kids Church. It's not always easy to choose to do what we should do, especially when we feel like doing something else. Like I feel like reading my book when I need to do the dishes, but we can remember you guys that we need to make the wise choice. We never have to make that choice alone either. God can help us stay in control of um, any situation. So who is here kicking off 2022 with some self-control? Hi, Ava. Hi, Jude. Hi, Ethan. What's up, Jameson? Hi, Lily. Hi, Maddie. You guys, I'm really so glad that you guys are here at Kids Church with me and getting ready to have a whole new year. So sometimes don't you wish that people would just tell you what the wise choice is? Well, you're in luck because I've got a game for us today and I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. You just have to be ready to do it, okay? Today's game is based on the remote control function of fast forward. I call it foot forward. All right, so to play this game, you're going to need to have four pieces of masking tape or some sort of tape on the floor with four different colors on them. You're gonna need pink, blue, green, and orange. Um, you can just either write that or just do a little scribble of that color. And go ahead and pause this video while you get the floor set up with your tape. Okay, then I'm going to call out colors. And as I call, you'll hop on that color tape as I call it. Easy peasy, right? But at a certain point, I'm gonna fast forward and you're gonna need to be ready to keep up, okay? And as it gets faster and faster, if you mess up, just be honest, just sit down. You can start again in a few minutes, okay? All right, you ready to play? Blue, green, orange, pink, green, blue, pink, orange, green. Nice job, everyone. Good job playing foot forward. Was that hard? How'd you do? Were you ready to jump on the right spot? Even when it got really tricky when I fast forwarded? Okay, now let's keep moving and sing. It is time to worship.
So I've got um, an amazing story to share with you guys today. It's about how Jesus showed real self-control in a really tough situation. Bible story time. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke. Chapter 4, verses 1 through 13. After his remarkable birth, Jesus spent most of his years growing up in Nazareth. To others, he probably seemed like any other Jewish boy. He ran and played with the other kids. Catch! He worked in the carpentry shop with his father, Joseph. As he grew older, he studied God's Word, the part of Scripture we now know as the Old Testament. Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. It was not until Jesus came to the Jordan River to be baptized by John that others began to realize how extraordinary he was. This is my son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him. 30 years of life had led Jesus to this point, where God himself announced that Jesus was the chosen one. It must have seemed like the perfect time for Jesus to begin doing miracles and gathering new followers. But that's not what happened. Instead, God's Spirit led Jesus into the desert for 40 long days. God, I trust you. I trust your plan. During this time, Jesus ate nothing at all. He focused on God as the one thing he needed above all else. But he wasn't alone, not quite, because the devil showed up. You must be hungry, so hungry. It was true. Jesus was desperately in need of food. You are human, after all. The devil refused to leave Jesus alone. He needled and tempted him at every opportunity. At the end of 40 days, he offered Jesus a smooth, heavy rock. If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus stared at the round stone. He knew as God's Son, he could easily turn it into a warm, crisp loaf of bread and just tear off just a large, chewy piece to instantly satisfy his hunger. But he knew every word God had spoken. It is written, man must not live only on bread. Suit yourself. The devil wasn't finished. He led Jesus to a high place where the whole world appeared to spread out beneath them. Every powerful kingdom, every palace, every throne of all the rulers on earth, the devil smiled. He seemed reasonable in control. I will give you all their authority and glory. It has been given to me, and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus didn't flinch. He knew he would rule all those kingdoms. And to take the easy way, he knew it would lead to disaster. And again, he spoke God's words. It is written. Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. The devil narrowed his eyes and readied his last shot. He led Jesus to the city of Jerusalem. They stood upon the very highest point of the temple itself. The worshipers far below looked as small as beetles. The devil smirked. If you are the son of God, throw yourself down from here. It is written, the Lord will command his angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands. Then you won't trip over a stone. The devil's true question seemed to hang in the air. Does God really love you? Prove it. But once again, Jesus had God's own words at the ready. Scripture says, do not test the Lord your God. The devil seethed with rage. He couldn't trap Jesus. So he finally gave up and left until his next good chance. When the devil was gone, God sent angels to take care of Jesus and provide everything he needed. And because Jesus spent his entire life discovering what God said, when the time came, he was ready to make a wise choice. 
You guys, Jesus was ready to face all of the devil's temptations. He was ready because he knew God. He knew the truth of scripture. And he was able to stay in control and resist what the devil tried to get him to do. You guys, God can help us resist temptation too. God can help us stay strong and self-controlled and ready to do the right thing in any situation. Here's what we need to remember. Be ready to do the right thing. It takes a little practice. It takes a little uh, thought. And if we really want to be ready, we need to spend some time getting to know God and getting to know his word in the Bible. Then we'll be able to um, rewind a little bit and remember what is true in any situation. You guys, let's pray and ask God to help us do this kind of hard thing. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for giving us everything we need in order to live your way. We want to be ready to do the right thing. And we know that starts from our relationship with you. We can read the Bible and see how good and faithful you are. We can see how much you love us. Help each of us to spend time with you so we can be ready to make the wise choice and stay in control. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus was tempted by the devil in lots of different ways, but Jesus was prepared. He knew that God loved him and was with him in those moments of temptation. And he used truths that he knew from God, um, from scripture, to help him stand against temptation. Now, most of us probably won't spend 40 days in the desert without food, but we will be tempted to do some things that we shouldn't do. You might be tempted to yell at your sibling. Um, you might be tempted to watch YouTube when you're supposed to be doing your homework. You could be tempted to eat that whole pizza instead of saving some for others. That's why it's really, really important that we are ready to do the right thing. Then we're gonna be able to stay in control when it really counts. Be ready to do the right thing, you guys. Say that with me, that's the bottom line, the thing I really want you to, to think about this first week, okay? Be ready to do the right thing. So how do we control ourselves when we're tempted to do what we shouldn't? Well, if you wanna do the right thing, first you have to learn the right thing. The Bible is an incredible place, you guys, to look if you want to know God and learn how you can live like Jesus did. And God has also placed people in your life and in my life, people who can help teach us the difference between right and wrong and help us make wise choices, help us be prepared to do the right thing, like people like our parents and teachers and small group leaders, other folks you know here at WUMC. And if we learn and listen, we're gonna be more prepared when we are tempted to lose control. Let's be ready to do the right thing. Right now, the right thing is to download small group activities and the activity sheets from the description of this video. This is where you're gonna be able to talk more about this idea with your friends and your family. I hope you guys have a great week I'm so psyched to be here with you for 2022. I love you.